In this video, we'll explore how you can use Reactor 2.0 to make a router control panel, but we will do it with an X keys instead of a Skahoy panel. Of course, there's still Skahoy technology involved. The Blue Pill server has Reactor 2.0 running on it, and it is possible to use the USB A port to drive the X keys. That is actually PoE power. USB power to the X keys all in one. You can also do this from our regular panels. This is called the XC panel form factor. They have this um, look. Uh, just disregard the uh, red sides here. I'm having a little bit fun with the uh, FrameShot Pro that I um, enclosed uh, slightly differently than otherwise. But the point is that they have USB A on the back side. And uh, to make all this work, you need to go in here to, uh, first of all, on the settings page, there is USB A you need to enable. The package that makes the X keys connect to the Blue Pill server is this one. If you go into its configuration, you can see that you can define the raw panel server port that it should uh, um, capture. And that is because the USB device is converted into a network accessible device. So it's really becoming a raw panel enabled device. You can uh, manage over the network and that is how Reactor is getting uh, the X keys into the configuration engine. You should see that it recognizes the X keys and if you have any trouble with this, you might want to use a USB hub in between because the power consumption of devices can be too much for the blue pill to do in itself, but you'll have to experiment depending on the device that you choose. If we go to the home screen, after having seen all that initial setup, basically what you should be able to do is to add panel, discover panels on the network, and you'll see the X keys is actually popping up right here. It is on the same IP address as your blue pill, but it's on a different port. So you select this and it's now being taken into the blue pill. All we need to do now is to create a custom configuration and we'll just call that test for now. Remember the name test, it is just a choice we made, um, but we'll see it in a moment in the configuration tab. I'll also add a device that I can discover on the network. That is the smart video hub that I have right here. I'll just uh, connect to that. And uh, to, to see what is going on, you see the UI from Blackmagic Design for this video hub, so we can go back to that and check later. If I go into configuration, this is what you see. You see the configuration test is what we just created. We are on the background layer, and basically what I want to do is to take the lower 16 buttons here and make into router control, okay? So I would uh, do that, open this one up, other and route input to output. So if I do that, I can basically select now um, what is the input number. Um, more importantly, maybe I want to select the output, but I can also select the input number by just typing it in here. Batch edit would be very useful now because what I basically need to do is to then make sure, because right now they're all routing input number one to output number one. Actually, that's what I just did. So uh, let, let's try it. Um, if we go over here, we are on route, uh, destination would be my output number one. So any button I press on the panel right now would route to input number one. And now you can see that all the buttons are lit up in the web UI and they also lit up on the X keys. Okay, that's not exactly what I want. So good reason to have the batch editor, obviously. But now I need to see um, about the numbering here. We have button three, nine, 15, 21, okay. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, right? So this is input number one, number three, nine, number two. I already forgot. <laughs> Maybe it's better to say, okay, three is number one, four should be number five. And um, button number five. Oh, oh gosh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think we'll just do this a little bit at a time, okay? Three, nine, 15, 21. Whew. Whew. So um, we'll use this match value is the value one, two, three, four. Okay, that's nice. We'll just do that for the same row here. Batch edit these. Okay, so f yep, that seems to be the right order. Nice, very good. So that's gonna be five, six, seven, eight. And let's just uh, drag across these. Eight, so that is going to be 9, 10, 11, 12, and then finally 13, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, now that is basically doing, hopefully, I mean, just let's pick this one. Input number eight, router to output number one. Let's try it. So just go over here and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
we see the keys are lighting up as they are supposed to do. So that is great. Okay, so of course I want to be able to manage multiple outputs. Therefore I create now a new page. We'll, we'll call this output two. And in fact, as I now go, ah, wait a second. Yeah, will I wanna do that or not? Um, well, now it comes down to what we call transparency. Now transparency is a cool thing because transparency means that I can create some navigation keys up here on the top, which is not overlaid by my pages. But I think for um, training purposes, it might be nice to create a non-transparent page and then call this out too. Okay, so I'll just do that. And then if I go to the out to page, you see the panel is now completely blank. None of those actions or behaviors as it's called assigned on the background is on this out to page. Let's just rename this to out one because essentially that's what it is. Let's just type in out one here and confirm. Now, um, so I go to out two, I can still do the same, just drag across these, assign routing, and then I'll now choose once again, input number one and to output number two. And then I will do my little batch edit exercise one, two, three, four. I'll do the same here. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And these nice. 13, 14, 15, 16. Awesome. Okay, so let's try that out as well. Okay, so we are now on out two here and we will get this application up and running. So obviously when I press anything here, it is actually not changing for this one. But if I go over to this output, you'll see that my routing functions are working exactly as expected. So, um, okay. What I want to do is to use these keys up here as paging. So I can now basically go back to the first page and then I can assign, I could actually take both of them and or all eight if I wanted to, but you get the point. If I um, use go to page, I'll say this goes to page number out uh, one. And then if I pick this one, I'll just go to out two. Okay, so I now have assigned the two upper keys here to do navigation on the panel. So uh, obviously if I press this one, I just get to the page I'm already on. If I press the second one, you'll see that I'm getting over to this page, out number two. Unfortunately on out number two, this is not defined. And that is the problem I have when I have when I make pages where I'm kind of blocking out everything. So this is why on out two, I would actually prefer to delete these blocking behaviors. There are actually empty behaviors right here and I will delete them because then I'm basically punching a hole in the upper eight buttons here inside of um, uh, the configuration. So now you can already see in the UI that it's shining through. And if I just move my cursor away, you can see that I'm able to navigate forth and back here because now these buttons have everything about them defined on the, the first page in my in my stack. All right, so I can now, and that's actually what you get when you choose transparent page. Um, so this is why that is the default option. So on the out three page, what I would do is exactly the same. Take my 16 routing keys and then assign input, uh, route input number one to output number three in this case. And uh, we'll use the batch editor as we have seen before to just quickly make the numbers. Cross batch edit five, whoops, five like this, nine, and finally thirteen. Okay, thirteen. There we go. All right. So I need now to go back to my first layer and define on this one, go to page, I'll make it go to out number three. And you see by just doing that, I have my navigation fully in place for navigating be between these. Let's quickly check, just reality check. I go to output number three and I'm on page number three. Will this work? Yes, thank you. It will, that's super cool and nice. And finally that one, yes, awesome. Okay, um, 
what's next here? Uh, yeah, I could actually play a little bit with the colors. Let's just try that. So if I go down here, I would love these on the top. Some mm, say batch edit. Does that make sense? Do I have like a color option here? No, I don't. I would use show more and I would pick a color. In this case, I'll just pick red. So now the actual color that you see, because these are red green buttons on this X keys model. So we just have like red between these and that is also reflected here. There's no dimmed version. But if I then drag across these, I can now make these similar way. Just say these should only be blue and now I have blue for this part of the control I'll do the same over here uh, show more just overwrite the color with blue and just do the same here show more and overwrite the color with blue I think this is a very nice demonstration I now have a router panel where I have my input selection with red or my output selection and my input selection are the blue buttons with an X keys using the blue pill server and reactor 2.0 thanks for watching